guys, Carl Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So yesterday I came to you guys and gave you my top five uh, Mets salaries of 2010 that I felt uh, had the most value for the Mets uh, in terms of production on the field and the cost that they were paying. Today in this post what I want to do is give you guys my top five uh, worst contracts, worst salaries for 2010 that are given the least value for the Mets. And at number five, I'm going to start with Francisco Rodriguez. He's making $11.5 million this year. Uh, you know, on the field, he was okay this year. Uh, 25 out of 30 uh, in save opportunities. But uh, the way that his season ended with the injury uh, due to um, the fight with his uh, father-in-law uh, in the at City Field and, and then the arrest that followed and now the court case that's going to take place uh, just an embarrassment for the Mets, and he's not able to finish the season out for them. So uh, he comes in at number five for me. At number four, I'm going to go with Luis Castillo. He's making $6 million this year. Uh, he's been replaced at second base by uh, Ruben Tejada and others. Uh, as Jerry Manuel wants to see what the young guys uh, can do. Uh, we all know that the overall contract for Castillo was a bad one for the Mets, uh, but he comes in at number four. Number three on my list, I'm going to go with Jason Bay. Bay is making $6.5 million this year. Uh, and, you know, for the $6.5 million this year, obviously he's got a much bigger contract uh, that covers a few more years down the road at, at higher money. But for the $6.5 million for this year, uh, as we know, Bay is out with uh, a concussion, which is unfortunate. But while he was in there this year, batted 259, only six home runs, 91 strikeouts in 348 at bats. Uh, I think we all expected a lot more from Jason Bay this year, and we just didn't get it from him. In at number two, I'm going to go with Carlos Beltran, making $18.5 million this year. We all know that he missed half of the season due to uh, an injury and then the surgery he had to have on his knee. Uh, he's back now for the Mets, and, and in this second half, uh, Beltran uh, is batting 236, three home runs in, uh, and 20 RBIs. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he seems like he's getting better out there in terms of his health in center field, but he just doesn't have the range that he used to have right now. Um, he also doesn't have the power from his legs that he used to have as well, too. So, you know, the $18.5 million for an injured Carlos Beltran uh, is not really good value for the Mets this year. And, of course, coming in at number one this year for the Mets is Oliver Perez. Uh, Perez is making uh, $12 million this year. Uh, he's 0-4, ERA over 6, and as we all know, the Mets asked him to go down to the minor leagues to work on his a few things. He refused to do that, uh, and ever since then, the Mets are not using him uh, at mu that much at all. Uh, Manuel's put him in a few games here or there, kind of in a mop-up role, uh, but uh, you know, for someone that the Mets are paying $12 million this year, who they thought was going to be a uh, front-of-the-end rotation type of guy, uh, he's been uh, designated to the bullpen, and he is uh, very low um, in terms of the priorities out there in the bullpen. Um, so we'll see what happens with Oliver Perez this offseason with the Mets, but uh, he is the, the top guy on, on my list of uh, 2009 uh, worst contracts for the New York Mets. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you soon.